Welcome to the lesson Perfect Tense. After completing this lesson, you will be able to define types of perfect tense, list types of perfect tense, identify types of perfect tense. The present perfect tense is expressed in the following way have or has plus past participle. For example, I have eaten, she has eaten. The negative form of this tense is formed by adding not after the auxiliary has or have. For example, we have not eaten dinner. The interrogative form of this tense is formed by interchanging the place of the subject and the auxiliary verb. In the sentence given below, Jill has read the book will become Has Jill read the book? Present perfect tense can be used to show past events or action whose time is not given or is not definite. For example, Aisha has entered her name for the photography competition. To show an action that has just been completed. For example, I have just left the office. To show an action which started in the past and is still continuing in the present. For example, they have lived here for years. The past perfect tense shows an action completed at some point in the past before another action began. The past perfect tense is formed in the following way. Had plus past participle. For example, I had eaten. We had eaten. The past perfect tense can be used to describe an action completed before a certain moment in the past. For example, Sheila had visited the doctor last week. When two actions occur in the past, but one happens before the other, the action that is completed first is in the simple past, while the other action is in the past perfect. For example, when they reached the gate, the clock had already struck 12. As the past form of the present perfect when changing direct to indirect speech. For example, Tom said she has done it becomes Tom said that she had done it. For the simple past when changing from direct to indirect speech. For example, Ameya said, Divya performed the dance well, becomes, Ameya said that Divya had performed the dance well. The future perfect tense is used when we wish to say that something or some action will be over at a given point in time. It expresses an action that will be completed before a certain time in the future. This may be indicated using the word by. The future perfect tense is formed in the following way. Shall or will plus have plus past participle. For example, you will have eaten your dinner by then. The future perfect tense is used to express an action in the future before another action in the future. For example, I will have eaten my dinner when you arrive. The future action of finishing my dinner will end before the future action of your arrival. The perfect continuous tense is formed by joining the continuous tense and the perfect tense. 
there are three types of perfect continuous tense. Present perfect continuous tense, past perfect continuous tense and future perfect continuous tense. The present perfect continuous tense is formed in the following way. Has or have plus been plus present participle. For example, I have been eating my dinner. The present perfect continuous tense is used to describe an action that began at some point in the past and is still going on. For example, Harry has been working for the new telephone company. With time phrases like since, for, long, how long, all the time, all day, etc. For example, the students have been rehearsing the play for two hours, sometimes as an explanation of one's actions. For example, I have been reviewing the new building plans. The past perfect continuous tense is used to report an action that happened before a point in the past and whose effects are still visible in the past. It is formed in the following way. Had been plus present participle. For example, she had been waiting for you. The past perfect continuous tense is used for a repeated action in the past. For example, we had been trying to raise money for the college festival. For an action that began before a certain point of time in the past and continued up to that time or just stopped before it. For example, the children had been playing in the garden when it started to rain. To show an action that had been going on before another action. For example, Oliver had been studying in the empty classroom when some students entered. The future perfect continuous tense is formed in the following way. Shall or will plus have been plus present participle. For example, they will have been eating. The future perfect continuous tense is used to indicate a continuous action that will end in the future. It is used with an expression of time or duration. For example, by next June, Raj will have been working as an engineer for 10 years. We have looked at all the types of perfect tense. Let's now read some more examples. Revise the main points before the girls return to their classrooms. The present perfect tense is formed by using have or has plus past participle. The negative form of the tense is formed by adding not after the auxiliary verb. The interrogative form of this tense is formed by interchanging the places of the subject and the auxiliary verb. Usage of present perfect tense To show past events or action whose time is not given or is not definite. To show an action that has just been completed. To show an action which started in the past and is still continuing in the present. The past perfect tense shows an action 
completed at some point in the past before another action began. The past perfect tense is formed by using had plus past participle. Usage of past perfect tense to describe an action completed before a certain moment in the past. When two actions occur in the past, but one happens before the other. As the past form of the present perfect when changing direct to indirect speech. For the simple past when changing from direct to indirect speech. The future perfect tense is used when we wish to say that something or some action will be over at a given point in time. To express an action that will be completed before a certain time in the future. The future perfect tense is formed by using shall or will plus have plus past participle. The future perfect tense is used to express an action in the future before another action in the future. The perfect continuous tense is formed by joining the continuous tense and the perfect tense. The present perfect continuous tense is formed using has been or have been plus present participle. Usage of present perfect continuous tense to describe an action that began at some time in the past and is still going on with time phrases like since, for, long, how long, all the time, all day, etc. Sometimes as an explanation of one's actions. The past perfect continuous tense is used for an action that happened in the past and whose effects are still visible in the past. It is formed using had been plus present participle. Usage of past perfect continuous tense for a repeated action in the past. For an action that began before a certain point of time in the past and continued up to that time or just stopped before it. To show an action that had been going on before another action. The future perfect continuous tense is formed using shall or will plus have been plus present participle. The future perfect continuous tense is used to indicate a continuous action that will end in the future. It is used with an expression of time or duration.